A Delirient Psychedelic Yo what's up, it's someone that's no one, and welcome back to today's report. Today's report was sent in by Brayden, where he took mirtazapine, cannabis, and tobacco. And here's the full report details. Okay, welcome back to another mirtazapine report. It's been quite some time since we covered this one, but this is a tricyclic antidepressant that's most commonly prescribed for depression, but sometimes for anxiety disorders, insomnia, or possibly to mitigate effects from another substance. Braden sent this to us as he got this as a sleep aid, but he just never took it. But what makes mirtazapine stand out? It is atypical, as not only does it impact histamine, but also psychedelic serotonin receptors, which makes it very interesting. It's a single substance acting with both delirant and psychedelic activity. Most reports tend to have heavy delirium effects with light psychedelic effects, but regardless, it makes for one unique experience with what we covered so far. This is a good report showing more of that potential, so I'm sure you'll enjoy this. Without further ado, let's dive right into this. I get this prescription for metazapine as a sleep aid and never take it. I had a whole month's supply worth and decided to support psychedelic and delirium effects. 9.30 AM Get my dose ready of 15 pills, each 15 milligrams, and bag them up. Pocket them and go get some breakfast. 10.30 AM Get back in my brother's car and dose up. Roll up a blunt and smoke. 11 a.m. Brother said he's gonna take me and the younger brother's fishing. So we load up the rods and chairs and take off to the lake. Feeling slightly sedated, but I'm used to it because I was so addicted to Benadryl for months and come to love the sedation. No visuals of any type. 11.15 a.m. Get to the lake, unload, and roll another blunt. After the blunt, starting to feel dizzy. And my brothers are saying that I sound like I'm drunk, due to my slower and slurred speech. I often see fishing poles bouncing and reacting, like a fish was biting out of my peripheral vision, only for me to look and see no such movement. 11.30 AM I'm getting more dizzy and had an episode where my vision and hearing faded out, and I was left stumbling around blind and deaf for a few seconds only for it to fade back in like it had faded out. But after this episode, I had intense closed eye visuals. The visuals started as blackness. Then I could see four fishing poles in the distance bouncing up and down repeatedly, only for them to zoom in and zoom out to continue bouncing. 11.45 I can see ants all over my hands. The lake water looks like it's racing downstream, even though my brother insisted still. The trees and skies behind them breathed, and the colors were so vivid they lasted into my closed eye visuals for approximately 10 seconds, only for the fishing poles to take over. 12.15 AM We smoked another blunt and headed home. Only this time in the car, I started to get real intense visuals. The trees looked 100 feet tall and looked to be looming over our car. The grass looked like static, and the interior of the car was breathing. When we got home, I walked into a blunt being rolled, and didn't hesitate to get in the roto. Each blunt brought on stronger visuals. It felt like these two went better than diphenhydramine and we did, due to the lack of visuals DPH has. I looked at the coffee table in front of me, and it was covered in flies. Not just 5 or 10, more like 100. These flew around and even buzzed in my ear, but I knew they weren't real. This is where mirtazapine and DPH differ the most, the headspace. With DPH, it's a confused, delirious type of thought, while mirtazapine was cloudy, but pretty clear. I could tell this was a hallucination, but it still gave me goosebumps. At this time, I almost lost my ability to talk, and I had to give extreme effort just to spew a few words. I remember my mama trying to engage a conversation with me, and I couldn't fall one bit. The sentence started with, I put money down at the dentist, and ended with, what do you think we should do about the car out there? 
I just said, whatever you think we should, and hoped that it would somehow answer the question. Come to find out, there was no other car outside other than my brother and hers. I'm not sure if I missed or something, or if it was the mirtazapine. I looked down, and the hardwood floor was flowing up until it hit the wall. The door seemed to extend and retract. The telephone pole outside curved to one side, and curved the other almost like a spaghetti noodle, but with more subtle bends. The clouds looked fake, almost like they were painted on the sky. 1 p.m. I wait on to take a nap, and I can't sleep. I get lost in the visuals behind my eyelids. It started as black, but then I saw a cat and crunch box fade in, then out, clear as day. Then I was at the beach, relaxing on a towel and staring at the sea. Then I opened my eyes, realizing I was not in fact at the beach, but in my room. I went all kinds of places during my quote-unquote nap. I visited people, went to places I saw in cartoons when I was younger. I remember clearly being in a WWE wrestling ring, but I wasn't in it. I was from the side view, almost like I was watching it, but I was convinced I was in this empty ring. I talked to people for the next few hours, and often stood up and walked, almost like sleepwalking and talking to people in my head out loud. I wake up when I walked into the door frame, or sit up over the toilet needing to pee. I remember laying down after peeing for my fifth time in an hour, and my mom walking into my room screaming to get up, that they're doing a knock and pop. There's ten cop cars outside. In this, I thought I was looking her in the face. But then, I open my eyes for real, and I'm staring at the wall on the opposite side from my door. I look over to see no mother, and close my eyes again. This was reminiscent of DPH. The dream and delirium states you go in when you close your eyes. But these were different. I looked over to the clock and it was 3 p.m. It felt like I hadn't slept at all. In fact, I remember vividly sitting there the whole time just hallucinating. Talking to people mostly, fake needing a pee, and finishing a jumbled sentence. I go roll blunt and smoke. The visuals were closed eyed except for the breathing effect on walls and the trees. But after the blunt, a new effect arose. I started to see dots fly in front of my field of vision. These were small and were melted into my vision. For those who haven't done deliverance, what I mean by this is when I looked around, they would not change their path, speed, or size. I get this from the Torah and DPH, and usually last as an HPPD symptom. But this was the only visual I had for the rest of the trip. Two hours later, I go back to sleep, approximately 5.15 p.m., and one minute after closing my eyes, I started to dream. I could snap out of it, but it took a lot of effort. It was lucid dreaming, but it wasn't from first-person perspective. It was like a movie, and I made all the lines and characters myself. I hatched the storyline as well. This was my favorite part of the experience. I felt a sense of accomplishment in the morning when I woke up, but I hadn't actually slept. At least I didn't feel like it. I was tired, groggy, and had a DPH style hangover with slow thinking and fatigue. Overall, I would, and I'm going to try mirtazapine again in the future. Only next time, I would try it in a combo with diphenhydramine or a higher dose of mirtazapine.